Good morning, friends and family. It's Sunday, and it is a sunny day. It's cold, though. Well, there's a lot of frost on the ground still. I'm going to walk around a little bit. I'm just going to turn the camera around and shut up and let you see uh, the place. Okay. Well, now that I've got a little bit of hot tea in me this morning, I've got my toes, my toe warmers installed. I'm going to walk over here to the other side and give you a view of what we've done uh, as far as taking the fees down. Yesterday, I also took uh, a dam out trying to get some of the <laughs> mud trained out I also put in some more steps I don't think they're quite a hundred percent done yet these top ones are probably just temporary but it's a lot easier than trying to slip slide up that hill these flowers we noticed uh, when we got here yesterday you can see they have uh, turned like tinges of pink, which is really nice. Lots of little things are starting to seed. Beautiful morning today. It is it's chilly. Let's see. Uh, I did some uh, transplanting of some plants that I'm not fond of, but I wanted to put them somewhere, so I stuffed them down in the down in the mud over there and discovered just how saturated the land still is. So, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe after it dries out in the summertime well, look at the size of that skunk cabbage. Maybe when it dries out in the summertime uh, we'll We'll uh, have better success next year as far as water mitigation in the dirt. But the area that we're going to be building in up here seems to stay relatively dry. It's nice up here. Um, there's a pile of wood. is increasing log by log. I think I put another couple on there. And uh, here's another. <laughs> this is... This one was kind of a beast to get out. This is 10 feet long. And it's about 8 inches on one side and 9 inches on the other. We figured, like, that's about the as big as I can really move around. And here's another one I cut down. And, uh, I don't know, maybe you can tell by Looking at this, all the big white trees that are sideways, we're trying to get those out. <clears throat> that one in the back there, I cut off. And you can see my path. This is where I, <laughs> I rolled them through. I tip them end over end. Because they're too big to carry. And they can't really, like, drag them. So, anyhow, that's the end of the tree it still goes way down there but that one was leaning on some trees up there so that was uh why i took that out and as you can see there's there's a lot of trees in this uh area over here kind of above where i've been working this is where i Cut one of the other trees, it landed on the stump when it fell over. So I was able to cut it through there. That's the end of it over there. Um, but you can see there's still probably another two pieces I can take out of there. This is in the dirt a little bit, but uh, the stuff that's in the air is uh, 
stays pretty well preserved. And another one I took out. It's the root. And uh, over there, well, you can see this though. Um, and you can tell it's pretty obvious why I need to do the trench work. Down through here, you got standing water. And we've seen, I've seen this a bunch of times. Uh, the water comes in and it hits underneath where these roots have tipped over, and it just like makes a little pool and it throws it down. The gold skunk cabbage. But you can see it runs around the stump over there. And this whole area here is really wet. And more standing water there. But, yeah, steady as she goes. This is the stuff I think that really blocks it up. The wood falls in the water and it, uh, it just pools up and stuff. I'm trying to decide how to, um, what to do about all this uh, excessive amount of water. Because this ground is really water saturated. Look at all that wood back there. I have my, this guy here. I might uh, might make an attempt on him today. I think I can get back there. So, there's that. Um, now, I think I'm going to show you. Maybe you find this interesting. This is a molehill. Flipped in molehill. This one has a lot of sand. Uh, but we have some other ones. It's hard to tell how old they are. There's another one. Got a lot of clay. There's another one. And that was another one, and another one, and another one. Really. Okay. And we'll give you a, another view here. That's pretty nice, right? Um, where we're at, I mean, there's the large pond. Down here is the lower uh, marshes, I guess you'd call them. And we're going to be building right back up in there so uh i'm gonna try to figure out how to get a view like a build up i guess we try to get a get a loft where we sleep you can see that tree over there just like this one here just it's like the beaver chew toy these trees are amazing now. They <laughs> they just keep going. Look at all these branches. They just sprout out of everywhere. Beavers chew them off. Look at that. Beavers chew them off and they just keep on growing. Just grew right around that lump there. So this is what I came down here to show you. This is uh, some trench work that happened yesterday. I didn't actually dig this trench. That's what the water did. I dug a trench down here. Yeah, this time I'll show you this too. This is kind of cool. And that broke off because the beavers chewed the top of it off. And it stayed attached. And the bark stayed attached. And it just kept growing. And it's a still growing part of the tree. Okay. Uh, ooh. See how rocky it is? You can hear that. So, here's uh, this was all underwater. You could see uh, pro probably more than a foot. That log down there was completely submerged. But we took uh, a dug little trench down here. We'll get over here and show you. So, a bit of a trench. I know it looks huge, but it's, I don't know, maybe a foot deep. So, yeah, this was all uh, full of water. All the way across, this was uh, submerged, all of it. So, uh, 
we opened up that. And then also, uh, I did this, I don't know, a couple months ago, but it had pretty much stopped. It's still running a little bit now. So that's, that's good. Um, uh, yeah. Interesting thing, on, on the other side. Uh, interesting thing that we ran into. You could see that big blob over there. Well, I think there's another one here on this stick. Here we go. Oh, they are uh, frog eggs. Pretty cool, huh? Watch it wiggle. And then there's also like a ton of these little snails, I think, in there. Little pointed snails. But there's some, there's just a big old pile of eggs over there. See the little lumpy things? But uh, when we drained this out, there, there were salamanders and frogs all over the place. So hopefully they'll be relocating. Uh, ultimately, we would have, you know, liked to be able to dry these areas out and uh, be able to use them. Or at least walk around instead of uh, uh, walking on quicksand. Because even though it looks like stable mud over there, uh, if I stepped on it, I'd probably go knee deep, I'm guessing. So yeah, that was that's the work I did this weekend. Good times. I challenge anybody to show me they got better mud than we do. <laughs>